So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this: merge to sorted list. And this question has been asked in these companies, Oracle, Accenture, Bloomberg, and Amazon. And today we are going to solve this question using the iterative approach. Now let's see what the question is saying. So we are given the head of two sorted list, and our task is to return one single sorted list like this. Now let's see how we are going to solve this question using the iterative approach. So what we are going to do? We will take a dummy node as a placeholder, and we will take two pointers, one for each list. One pointer will be here, and the other pointer will be here. Now what we are going to do? We will compare the current elements. For example, we are comparing this one and this one, and whichever one is smaller, we will add that element to the resultant list. In this case, we are going to add this one, and after attaching that element to the resultant list, we will move that pointer ahead. Right? Now again, we are going to compare this one and this one. So what we are going to do? We will attach th this one. Now this pointer will move ahead, and the same thing we are going to do till we reach the end of the list. Now you can see here, L1 reaches the end of the list, but L2 Still has some elements in it, right? So in that case, what we are gonna do? If any of the list is still left with few elements, then in that case, we will attach all the elements of that list to the resultant list. Okay. And the same thing we have done here in the code. We have a dummy node here, and we took two pointers, one for each list. And after that, we are comparing the current elements. And whichever one is smaller, we are adding that to the resultant list. And after attaching, we are just moving that pointer ahead, right? The same thing we have done here. and if any of the list is still left with few elements then in that case we are attaching all the remaining elements of that list to the resultant list like this so i hope you got the logic now you can take a screenshot of this code and try to do dry run by your own and that's it for today i will see you in the next video with another dsa concept